What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we need to discuss what is going to be happening thanks to Celestial Island and the new update when it comes to PvP. So, right now we have uh, a pretty steady PvP meta. Do we like it with Carrie? No, not really. It's kind of a boring PvP meta, if I do say so myself. I'm sure a lot of you agree, some of you might disagree, but... I feel like the consensus is PvP was actually in a really awesome state before Carrie came out in Heroic Scrolls, and then it got even worse in March when she hit the Relic Shop with people making two, three, and even four carries. So we kind of have to take a minute here and uh, and talk about what's going to be happening. So with the Celestial Island update, we have our adventures. So. Everybody has a different progress percentage. Me, personally, I'm almost at 59%. I know there's people out there already at 75% because it all depends on how many of those precious PvP fights you get and the ones where you rescue other fleets and get 2-3% to progress. Because of that, some people will finish their event much faster. And because of that, part of some of the resources you get for finishing the missions, where are they? There's uh, bonus prizes. These uh, these adventurer medals are very important because these adventurer medals are what are what upgrades your. Uh, I guess you call them your towers, right? Your towers is that where they're called? Statues. Sorry, your statues. When it comes to your celestial island, so of course. Each, uh, each actual event here gives those medals, and you have another chance to get more of them based on the events you get during it, but me, I'm far behind. I started late because I wanted to make sure when the event went live, the first thing I did on Celestial Island was my live reaction, so we waited. We're, but we're a bit behind, so... The big thing is, this is separated into Holy, which is your Forest, your Fortress, and your Light Heroes. And your evil statues, which are your shadow, your abyss, and your dark heroes. So, a little bit of info for everybody. Depends on where you are in the game on what you want to upgrade first. First thing you need to decide is, what factions am I going for? What does my PvP team have? Because, if you remember correctly, these, these statues right here are upgradable and they provide additional attributes in Arena... Guild War, Friendly Matches, Celestial Island Assist, Brave Trial, and Encounter Battles with other fleets in the Celestial Island as well. So, aka every type of PvP environment, plus Celestial Island. So, yeah, we have to kind of break this down, and I want to give you guys a little bit of my personal advice of what you should do when you finally finish your first mission. First things first, you have to see what type of lineup you have. Just for example, on my account here, my PvP lineup is purely light and forest heroes. Maybe a fortress hero down the road as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the holy statues. Most people, I feel like, are going to go for the evil statues because the biggest thing when it comes to PvP right now is the speed of your carries. If you have faster carries or equal speed and you're on offense, you will attack first. And right here, this evil statue of lightning, it's probably going to be everybody's, uh, who, everybody who's in the late to end game PvP meta are most likely going to be upgrading their lightning statue. I know some people on tap tap have said they've already been able to upgrade this a bunch to get to about speed plus 20. But this is going to be very, very important. It's going to make the PvP meta very, very unpredictable when you're going to fight other teams in Arena. Uh, it really comes down to who has more points in their statue and who has had more luck getting these... Uh... Oops, didn't mean to exit there. Sorry about that. Who has more luck getting these extra medals right here? Because these medals are what it's going to take to upgrade those statues. So... It'll be really interesting to see how it shakes out. If you are in late game PvP and you're building the carries, you really don't have any option besides putting points into the lightning statue first because when you have carries, speed is the name of the game. Me personally, 
I'm doing the holy statues because my heroes are all light and forest and possibly an Ormus down the road. So that's fortress that works in my case. Speed doesn't really matter because I cannot outpace Ada's <clears throat> or carries or anything like that. So I'm probably going to go with the HP statue first. So it really, there's no one answer, one blanket answer for everybody. It really comes down to your team. If you are early game or mid game and you do not have your pet, your monster maxed out yet, especially these runes here, if you don't have the speed rune maxed out, you can probably avoid putting points in the speed statue because the speed statue is not going to catch you up if you don't have your speed in the pet just yet. So if you are early game, mid game, you don't have the speed rune maxed out yet, I would consider putting points in either the attack statue, the war statue, or the guardian statue. And again, you have to decide. If you are an early game account and you have a Horus, you might want to put something in the evil statue, either the guardian or the war. Because let's be honest, especially with someone like Horus as your main hero, the speed's not going to do much. That's not what's going to make, make Horus win fights for you. So you kind of have to break it down, figure out who your team is, and then from there, pick what your best option is. So if you're building a penny and just a penny alone, you probably want to pick something like the war statue in the holy side. Get that plus attack damage so she can one-shot people. If you're building a Garuda, probably the same thing because you don't want Garuda going too fast. But you want her hitting really, really hard. So if you, do, if you guys have any questions, make sure you jump over to our Discord. Throw some questions in chat. We have such a helpful community right now. Our Discord is amazing. Thank you to all the moderators and everybody that are doing such an amazing job. But when it comes to end game PvP, pretty much everybody is going to be going straight into this evil statue of lightning. Because whoever has more speed here means their carries are going to go first. So this PvP meta, probably for a couple months here until everybody can max out their, uh, their statues, is going to be very, very... I want to say volatile, but very random. When you go up against the team, right now you can pretty much guess if your carries are on par or equal in speed or slower or faster. You have a pretty good idea. But once these statues come into play, a difference of plus two speed means you could lose a fight. Do I like this? Not necessarily, because you guys have to watch out. There are people getting very, very close to finishing their first adventure and when they first finish their first adventure they get all those resources in the meantime you're still going to be on your adventure with no statues so they're going to have a little bit of an advantage not a huge one but they will have a speed advantage when it comes to their carries so um, anybody who is late game or end game especially with one especially with two plus carries you need to max this evil statue out as soon as possible. If you don't, you will fall behind in the PvP meta. You'll be going second, and you will end up losing a lot of times to those carries. So definitely, definitely going to be really interesting to see how this PvP meta shakes up. Um, if you are early game, though, and you have a hero like Horus... Or, uh, I mean, even Ithaqua now. You might want to consider the evil Statue of War or Guardian. Um, but the big ones that I feel like most people are building, their first heroes, either Garuda or Penny. These statues over here are going to be your best bet. The holy statues, and especially Garuda and Penny, in my opinion, you want to build the holy statue of war. So, I think those will be really, really good things. If you did get very lucky, I, I of course, I, I keep mentioning it, we're only at 58.94% progress. I know there's people out there with like 20% more progress than me that got really lucky with the events. Um, it really does. It, it, this, I'm not, the one thing I'm not happy about with this event is RNG is going to depend on if you're stronger in the PvP meta because... Until you get enough of those resources to max out all these statues, you're going to be in trouble. So, 
Hopefully, hopefully it's not too impactful, but I figured I wanted to get a little bit of a rant out, give you guys a little bit of heads up to make sure, hey, you got to pay attention to this because this is really going to mess with the PvP meta and might confuse some people when they're watching fights and when they normally go first with their carries, now they're falling behind. It can actually cause some major, major differences when it comes to combat. So hopefully this one kind of helps you guys out. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of insight to the Celestial Island and how it'll help or worsen PvP. Not really sure. It's kind of TBD to be determined. But hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Definitely come by tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern for our live stream. We're going to be doing the face reveal. We're going to be do doing a couple different things, maybe a giveaway as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.